Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have seen what is Jasmine and why we need to do the unit test and all those things we have seen it, right? Now let's start a sample project and with that sample project, let's try to, let's try to test the sample project using the Jasmine and we'll see about the installation of Jasmine and all those things. Let's try to see it. So now I am taking the project, something like simple calculator. Let's try to do the simple calculator project. And in that one, we'll try to test it. So let's open this one in the Visual Studio Code. So simply we will open. So this is a basic thing project. So we here we are not focusing on the code or anything. So just we will focus only on the testing. So let's create a new file. So that is nothing but simple calculator dot html. Okay, it's a simple calculator dot html. And let's try to write here html. Let's try to impose the HTML markup and all those things. Oh, sorry. So here I will write HTML. And here I have written all the doc type and all those things. In the title, I will write simple calculator. Okay. So this is a simple calculator. And in this simple calculator, what I will do is let's create one H2 or something and let's create a heading simple calculator let's try to see this one in the output so if i open this one in the browser so here we are able to see the simple calculator right now we will create a file something like calculator.js file okay so just i am creating a js file so this is where the all the logic will reside so here in the calculator.js file what is the code i am writing so i will create a function calculator okay and in this one, I will take this dot total is equal to zero. So this is the total calculator first time it will have a zero. So we will be showing zero at the first right. So that is nothing but this dot total is equal to zero. And we'll recreate a simple calculator. For the simple calculator, what are the things we will be having? So here let's try to create calculator dot prototype dot add is equal to it's a function and the function takes the parameter of number. And in this one, we will write the logic. And another one, we will have calculator dot prototype. So we are creating the prototype thing. So is equal to function of number. And here I will write this one. So in the same scenario, you will have another one. Copy this one. And here we will have multiply. Okay. And in the same scenario, we will have last one is the divide. So this is, these are the functions we will be having in the calculator thing. So now we, if we want calculator means we will create an object with the calculator and we can make use of these all methods. So now let's try to write the logic in this add function. So in this add function, what I can write? So we need to return this dot total. Okay. And it is equal to this dot total plus number. So whatever the number we are getting. So we need to return the value. Now, if you want means you can write something like plus is equal to like this. So this is the shorthand notation. We can write it. Okay. In the same scenario here, we can write return this dot total, this dot total minus is equal to number. In the same scenario here, return this dot total into is equal to number. And the last one is written this dot total divide is equal to number. So that's it. So these are the methods we have written. Let's try to see the output. So if you want to see the output, what we need to do it. So here we need to add the script here. Script type is equal to text slash JavaScript. And the source will be calculator.js file. That's it, right? So this is the calculator. So now here we have added. So now this script has to go away. Sorry, this script has to go away. That's it. That's it. Now let's try to open this one in the live server. So I'm opening this one. So here is a simple calculator. And if you want to test the logic and here we can test the logic here. So here I can write where calculate where cal c is equal to new calculator i can write it like this right new calculator why because it was available public 
script so this calculator will be available globally now cal dot add up 3 so i will try to add up 3 so the output we got it as 3 now let's try to add it another one another 3 3 plus 3 it will be 6 so we are able to get the output now for this 6 i want to subtract it subtract of 3 again if i want to subtract of 4 means so what could be the output 2 perfect so now i want to cal dot subtract of sorry multiply i want to check the multiply so the output what i have got it so i want to multiply with the 10 so what is the output i am getting 20 now if i want to divide it so cal dot divide of divide with the 10 so now i am getting 2 so everything is working fine <coughs> correct right so everything is working fine now what i want to see so let's try to cal dot divide of 0 so let's try to divide it with the 0 so what is the output we are getting we are getting that output as infinity so infinity means so anything divided by 0 will be an infinity itself right so we need to handle this situation so how can we handle that scenario so when it is getting infinity whenever the number what we are passing is 0 means then we will get an infinity so let's try to solve this one so where we can solve it in the calculator.js here in the divide i can write that if number is equal to is equal to 0 okay if number is equal to is equal to 0 means i can throw an error so we need to throw an error instead of infinity so what i can say number cannot be 0 or something like this okay so i am throwing an error so this is somewhat looking fine right let's try to see the output here again so if i try to refresh it okay where cal c is equal to new calculator okay so now cal dot add of sorry cal dot add of 3 and we are getting 3 okay now i will try to do cal dot divide of 0 now we are getting we are able to show the error instead of infinity that number cannot be 0 so successfully we have did the basic logic functioning of this calculator so what we have did we have created a calculator and if you want to see the total we can check it something like calculator dot total okay so it is an undefined so if you want you can check it so now so what is the thing we have did it here the logic what we have written is so we have created a function calculator and this one we are having a total and we are having four functions something like add subtract multiply and divide so with these all uh, these are logic what it will try to do is so this calculator will will perform add subtract multiply and divide so whenever you want to use this calculator you can create an object and can you and you can you make use of this calculator fine right so this is all about the calculator thing so hope you understood about this calculator now in the next video we will try to do some ui and we'll try to test this calculator so that what are the functions whether the functions what we have did it so how we can unit test these all the things let's try to see it in the next video so this is the logic calculator logic so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you